Hey, hey! Welcome back, my friends, to the Master Warrior playthrough. For any of you guys who didn't catch it, the finale of my Forgotten playthrough went out yesterday at the time of this video going out. So if you're interested in watching a full-blown start-to-finish series using weapons I've either never used before or have very rarely used before, go ahead and check out the link on screen. But for now, my friends, what that means is the Melee playthrough is the only playthrough currently being done on this channel here. So we can focus all of our energy on trying trying to get this series finished before New Year's 2024. That is the goal, my friends. So check it out, my friends, my inventory. I have not been in any way, shape, or form idle since the last episode. For any of you guys who didn't catch the last episode, we of course took down not one, not two, but all of the mechanical bosses, all with the Shadow Flame Knife with various damage over time debuffs. It is a ridiculous loadout to use, and it's actually very, very fun. I urge you guys to give it a go. But anyway, the highlights of what I managed to get since the last episode. I did a whole bunch of spelunking and a whole bunch of fishing. As you can see via this long horizontal line, I tried to find as many surface chests as possible and as such, I've got myself an aglet finally. I've also managed to get myself and I really hate myself for getting this between episodes, but I did manage to get the Rod of Discord randomly. I've got the shoe spikes, I've got myself the ice skates as well and the fact of the matter is this. With all of the various bits and bobs I have now what I should be able to do is I should be able to grab this out where's my water walking boots right there I should be able to make myself the terror spark boots now so here we are there's the lightning boots there's the frost spark boots obsidian rose grabbed and I'm still missing something Oh, the obsidian skull. At least I'm pretty sure the obsidian skull is the other element we needed. Yeah, it looks like it is. Obsidian water walking boots. There's the lava waders. And ladies and gentlemen, at long last, the beauty that is the terror spark boots. We've already got angry on it. So actually, I'm kind of all right with that. Yeah, very good. Starting off with the terror spark boots. That is a good way to start off an episode. What we could also do, though, is we can make ourselves the tiger climbing gear in preparation for the eventual master ninja gear. And yeah, aside from that, we've got some other bits and bobs that I need to put away. I've got my knight's edge out because what we can do is we can make ourselves this bad boy. The only thing is, this uses up pretty much all of my souls. So we're going to have to take down all three mechanical bosses again if we wanted to make ourselves the pickaxe axe, which of course we do want to make because today I want to make myself some turtle armor. So here we are. Oh yeah. Wait, have I ever used the true knight's edge in 1.4? I don't know that I have. I don't remember seeing these projectiles in any one of my previous series. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm very interested in trying to get myself a good reforge on here, of course. And while we do, I do, of course, want to say an enormous thank you for all of your lovely support throughout all of my series and my videos on the channel here lately. I really appreciate all of the support in the form of the likes and subscriptions and comments lately, my friends. Thank you so much. Hey, godly! I'll take that. I ain't gonna complain one single bit about that. That is a beautiful little upgrade. I think my icicle is finally going to retire, my friends. And yeah, check this out. All of this fishing-related weaponry that I've got since the last episode. I mean, I had lots and lots of bits of bait in here in the last episode, but I managed to get even more. I decided that, you know, fishing is not the most interesting thing in the world. Probably not the most interesting thing to watch either. So I just kind of decided to get it done between episodes. So then, mech souls. We've got ourselves a mechanical worm. We're going to be needing ourselves another skelly prime and another twin summoner, though. Yeah, there we are. Six souls of light for the mechanical eye. Three light and three night for the skelly prime summoner. Beautiful. How are we looking in terms of this night? Ooh, we might be able to take down one of the bosses. Yeah, I think we'll be able to do one of them. So let's go for the twins or do we go for the mechanical worm? Only, the only type of soul I now don't have is souls of might. So I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and do this thing. Oh my word! Let's see what the true knight's edge is capable of, shall we? Oh, snappers. Wait, why am I not sending out projectiles? Did you see that? There was a period of time where I wasn't sending out projectiles. A little bit confusing as to why that's the case. But whatever. I mean, we're still doing plenty of damage. What the? There's a wyvern. Of course there is. Okay, okay. What? Seriously, what? 
How can you tell me that I'm not capable of taking down the destroyer with a true knight's edge? <sighs> All right, we're going to have to get ourselves another mech worm, aren't we? It's the destroyer more than anything I need to be taken down. I believe we only need one of each mech soul in order to make ourselves the pickaxe axe. I just hope I'm not wrong when I say that. Only if I am wrong, then again, that's going to be kind of embarrassing. <laughs> you know? we can do while we're down here. Maybe we could resume our old goal of trying to get ourselves the Berserker's Glove. I would still love to have that bad boy, but the thing is, we're going to be needing ourselves some more Feral Claws and another Titan Glove from a regular Mimic, so... There's going to be a lot of grinding involved if we wanted to try and still go for the Berserker's Glove. Hey there, spiders! Y'all are getting absolutely ruined by these folks. Hey, I just got a Crimson Key! <laughs> Yo! Alright! Oh, that is fantastic! Ah, I was wondering when my death would happen. And there we have it. Let's go ahead. Let's take down another Crimson Mimic. Maybe we'll only need to take down one in today's episode. I don't know. Rely on RNG and you're setting yourself up for failure. Let's be honest here, my friends. Yeah, wrecking shop with the Knight's Edge. Love to see it. And what do we get? That's a life drain. Ow. Oh, there we are. Mech worm. Hey, guys, the best thing about this thing here, the Crimson Key, is we'll be able to open the Crimson Chest once we defeat Plantera, which, by the way, is the episode end goal today. I know, it's probably a long way off, but... I am prepared to put the time in. I'm going to get the grind done. I'm going to get myself turtle armor. I'm going to make myself a plantera arena. I'm going to do all the things. Alrighty, back to some more underground crimson grinding for now, my friendos. Might as well make the most out of the time we have. Oh, hey, the web stylist is here. Hello. All right, there we are. 30 souls of night. Enough to make ourselves two keys of night. Very good. Hey! What? Oh, come on! You've got to be kidding me, right? Oh, mate, that's not okay. So that's one chance choked already. I keep going in being all sort of juggernaut, all sort of Rambo, like I can just get this thing done in a matter of seconds. Yes, the True Knight's Edge is strong, but it's not quite that strong, you know? Flesh Knuckles! No flesh knuckles. Ah! All right, buffing up. Let's do this thing. We're going to revert to type. We're going to use our shadow flame knife. Yeah, I know, I know. It doesn't do as much damage as the true knight's edge, but uh, I was getting a little bit too sort of ahead of myself with the true knight's edge. So I know that I've taken down the destroyer before with the shadow flame knife. So I'm going to do it again. And ladies and gentlemen, I should have never doubted the power of the shadow flame knife. Right, let's get rid of this guy as well. We had two wyverns spawn throughout the course of that fight. Unbelievable. <laughs> anyway, there we have it. Beautiful stuff. Do we or do we not have enough mech souls now to make ourselves a pickaxe axe? I hope we do. There it is, in fact. Yeah. So yeah, turns out we don't actually need to take down the mech bosses again. I don't think. I don't think we need further souls of fright aside from if we were to take down the frost moon later down the line, I think. But yeah, aside from that, we don't really need much. All right, a speed modifier on the pickaxe. And yeah, then we'll be ready to hopefully take on the jungle. We're going to get ourselves turtle armor. Do we or do we not already have three turtle shells? We do have three turtle shells. Wow. Time to whip out our chlorophyte mining kit. I'm thinking shine, mining, and a couple of spelunker. And that should do it, actually. <laughs> hey, our first life fruit just on the way down to the jungle. I guess that's something we could also do while we're down here, eh? Okay, let's do this thing. Buffs activated. It's time to get some chlorophyte. Hey! Wait, are you telling me that the blood jellies could do those stupid... He can do the electrify thing similar to the normal jellyfish. Ah! Oh. I learned something new and in the worst way possible. To be honest, I don't know why I wouldn't have thought that that blood jelly would do that stinging attack similar to regular jellyfish. I think it was a bit ambitious of me to think otherwise. Or, let's be honest, more accurately, it was stupid of me to think otherwise. <laughs> ah, very good. Shrine chests. Maybe we can get ourselves that other load of feral claws that I was on about before, eh? Let's see if we get lucky here. What have we got? That is a boomstick. Wow, this is a big old area. What have we got here? An extractinator. 
Wait, that's a regular gold chest in a shrine. I always thought that the chests inside of a shrine were always the ivy chests or mahogany chests, whichever. And yes, don't worry, I did indeed spot this life fruit. I'm not about to forget about them. To be honest with you, my friends, I don't think we need to go further than our first spelunking potion. I already have well over 350 bits of chlorify, which is more than enough to get ourselves the full set of chlorify armor and or turtle armor, of course, so... Yeah, I think we're looking pretty good. All right, 428. Okay, I think we're looking pretty dang good. Let's go ahead, make ourselves a bunch of bars. 85 is the amount we're able to make. And here we go, turtle helmet, 21 defense, 6% increased melee damage. We've got ourselves the chest plate, or scale mail as it's called. 27 defense, 8% increased melee damage and crit chance. And finally, the leggies. We've got ourselves 17 defense and 4% increased crit chance. All of them come with the bonus of enemies are more likely to target you. But I think that's a multiplayer only thing, right? So, 67 defense going up to 89. That's an increase of 22 defense. That is incredible. Reduces damage taken by 15% and attackers also take double damage. So it's like a double permanent thorns effect. I mean, come on, how can you argue with that? Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. We never actually made the Excalibur before, did we? So let's see if we can't change that real quick. There it is. Uh, wow, okay. Look at that for an overhauled Excalibur. That's kind of cool, actually. In fact, I've just remembered something. If we were to take this out, I should be able to make... Can I make it? The true Excalibur? There it is. True Excalibur. Yeah! Okay, that's kind of cool. Doesn't appear to shoot out any projectiles, though, similar to the previous true Excalibur. Huh. So then, what do we think, ladies and gentlemen? Is it time to go for the goal of Plantera? I think it may be. We've got a Plantera's bulb right here. We've got ourselves a large open area here, which, of course, I can make into a nice box arena pretty quick, like. And then, yeah, we pretty much get on with it from there, really. I must admit, I am interested to know what kind of power this true Excalibur possesses. I mean, obviously, we've got ourselves the beautiful projectile with the true knight's edge. But how does it compare with the true Excalibur? Are they finally on level peggings now? There's only really one way to find out, isn't there? And that is to actually give it a go. Oh, yeah. Totally forgot about this because I did do a bunch of fishing since the last episode. And since this is technically a Hallowified snow biome, it means I have access to life force potions and a lot of them. Ah, oh, two. Two of them. We have access to two life force potions. Well, five if I, uh, you know, total everything up from previously. All right, very good. And now we have five buff potions in our arsenal here. Yeah. Time to get ourselves over to the jungle. Let's get this Plantera Arena dug out and let's friggin' do this thing. I mean, assuming that this weapon can now hit behind me and around me and in front of me... This weapon might actually be kind of gnarly. Yeah, look at it. It just does damage everywhere. <laughs> yeah! I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm kind of down with this weapon now. Normally, I would just put it away in a chest, and then I wouldn't see it again until, you know, I've gone ahead and made the Terror Blade. So, yeah, definitely down to give it a proper go against Plantera. But, yeah, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and do ourselves a little bit of a favor here. We need to start digging ourselves out this arena. So let's do it, shall we? No! <laughs> no! Another Crimson Mimic totally choked. Got him! Ah, oh, tendon hook? Really? Oh, Titan Glove, please? Ow. RNG really isn't doing it for me today so far, is it? Not had any flesh knuckles. It's just flat out not given us any of the accessories we need for the Berserker's glove today, has it? And he's done. And we've got fetid back knacks. <laughs> All I want is a couple of minutes where I can just get this friggin' box done. I'm almost done, as you can see on the map there. Oh, if all of these deaths could do me the honor of buggering off, I might have a slightly better time. 
All right, box created, finally. What we're going to do is we're going to start getting rid of everything that Plantera could possibly grab onto. I don't even know if she could grab onto minecart tracks, but I'm going to go with the better safe than sorry route of just getting rid of them anyway. Now we start ridding all of the background walls. Oh, come on! That's the third time I've been killed by a crimson mimic. And there we have it. Oh, I was starting to think I'd never, ever get it. <laughs> but there we are. The Flesh Knuckles. And ladies and gentlemen, at long last, it feels like it has taken years to get this done. But there we are. A Plantera safe arena. No background walls whatsoever. We need only light this up and then that's it. We can get on with our first Plantera attempt. Ladies and gentlemen, buffing up Plantera. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Here we go. Oh, snappers. I feel like already the true knight's edge is going to be the way to go. Also, we need to get rid of these small guys before they absolutely drain our life away. Wait, what? Why am I feeling like the projectiles aren't going in the direction I'm aiming? Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know... Why that's the case, but no matter. We'll see what we can do here, okay? We'll see what we can do. Why are my projectiles not going the way that I'm aiming? What? I'm so confused. I don't know what's going on. We could just revert to type, get the old uh, Shadow Flame knives going for now, and then maybe on second phase, that'll be the point in which we switch to maybe the true Excalibur? I mean, yeah? I kind of like the true Excalibur. It does a lot of damage sort of around you, doesn't it? So therefore, I feel like it should do a fairly okay job of taking down all of the little grabber guys, right? Or at the very least, it will keep them at bay. I hope so. I really do. <laughs> oh, all right. These Shadow Flame Knives are definitely doing the job for now, though. Definitely pretty happy with that. The bouncy balls are not managing to bounce high enough up to the point where they're affecting me on the platform. So that's very, very nice to see. Yeah. I think we're doing kind of all right for now. Not bad. Not bad, my friends. Not bad. <laughs> All right, halfway point, here we go. This is where the true Excalibur hopefully will come into its own. I hope so. Uh, is it keeping them at bay, though? Kinda. I mean, yeah. It's kind of doing the job. I kind of enjoy it, actually. Yeah. Maybe now's the time we go back to the true Knight's Edge, though. Even though the projectiles absolutely are not going where I am clearly aiming at. I'm aiming to the right, and they're just sort of not following where I'm aiming. I'm so confused. Have you guys noticed this using the overhaul true Knight's Edge? The projectiles just flat out don't go where you're aiming at half the time. But to be fair, it's still doing the job. Look at how much life we've still got. You know what? I'm genuinely doing quite a lot better than I thought I would. I am absolutely here for it as well. Yeah. This is actually turning out to be incredibly easy. The True Knight's Edge is definitely doing the job. In first phase, I definitely felt like the Shadow Flame Knives were doing a pretty good job, though. So, using a bit of a hybrid loadout here. Hybrid in the form of multiple weapons. But, you know what? Like I say, I'm here for it. <laughs> My friends, we are on the verge of success here. This hasn't even been slightly difficult. Considering this is Master Mo Plantera, we have been absolutely tearing this gal apart. Ah, oh, and it feels good. All of that preparation, all of the pain, sweat, and tears that we put into this arena. Woo! We came out in front, my friends. What can I say? We came out in front. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> You know what would be even more fantastic, though? If we manage to get all of the accessories for the Berserker's Glove. All I need is a Titan Glove 
and the feral claws. The feral claws I could probably get from fishing. And then the titan glove, of course, you get that from regular mimics. And since I already have quite a lot of dudes spawning around here, if I was to just get myself a battle potion or two and then a water candle, I might be able to get the titan glove pretty easily down here. So then with Plantera taken out of the way, I think that will mark the end of today's episode. It has been a long one for me, but I really do hope that you guys have enjoyed this episode. A lot has been done. We've got some new gear, new armor. We've got the True Knight's Edge and Excalibur. We've taken down Plantera. We've done many things today, so I really do hope you guys have enjoyed it. In the next episode, I'm hopefully going to go back to the goal of getting myself the Berserker's Glove. I mean, we already have the Flesh Knockers at the end of the day, and arguably that's the most difficult part to get. So, yeah, the Titan Glove and, of course, the Feral Claws. They should be relatively simple to obtain. All we have to do is put some time into it. So next episode, that's exactly what we're going to go ahead and do. But yeah, for now, we're ending this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's action-packed episode, then do be sure to drop a like. I'd really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Do have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!